Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of eyeshadow tutorials for my hooded eye boys and girls. But today we are doing our first 2019 Ulta haul. So January 2nd, I took my butt to Ulta and I picked up a couple of things that I wanted to share today. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up, not too much, but all the right things, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so the whole reason I went to Ulta was because they're doing their jumbo hair bottle sale. I hope they're still doing it by the time I post this video, but I'll let you know below if they are or if they aren't. They also do it another time. They do it twice a year. So if you miss out on this one, make sure to get it the next time. I'll try to post ahead of time if I can because they're like half off. Some of them are a little bit less depending on the line you use, but I use the Sebastian Drench line and that's included. So it's like half off and I love this stuff. My friend and hairstylist, Julia, Julia, if you're watching, hello. She recommended this and because I have such processed hair, well, she recommended the conditioner because I wanted a really good hydrating conditioner and I just went for the shampoo anyway because I loved the conditioner. So I really, really like how it makes my hair feel, whereas a purple shampoo kind of makes my hair feel dry. So with that said, our first bag is full of enough shampoo and conditioner to last me the year. So I picked up two shampoos and two conditioners. So this is what they look like. The conditioner is white and the shampoo is black. So I really like these. These are obviously huge and I picked up two of them and I still have like almost a full bottle of both of these in the shower right now. So they're one liter and these have just made my hair feel so good. It is so nice when I put this on. So I have quick background obviously super processed blonde hair and it's super tangly so I need a conditioner that's going to really hydrate and detangle because it's so hard to blush brush my hair when I get out of the shower so this has been such a godsend for me I used to what did I use I think I used like the redkin or something like that purple conditioner but I don't use any purple conditioner and I have rarely been really using a purple shampoo lately maybe once or twice a month I still use the same one it's matrix so silver but I just find that it makes my hair feel so dry so that was the reason I started to use the Sebastian shampoo as well because I wanted something a little more hydrating and I really like the line and I love the scent it's not like super fragrant I'm horrible at describing scents. It just smells good. So I picked up enough to last me the year. Two bottles of each. And then while I was over there, I noticed that the Batiste dry shampoo was buy one, get one half off. So I use the Batiste Clean and Light Bare. This is the best dry shampoo I have ever used. If I have super greasy hair this will transform it to looking like maybe like second day hair it doesn't look like just washed hair but it looks so good and this i feel like is a little bit less fragrant than most of the batiste collections it does still have a fragrance in it that's for sure but it doesn't bother me too much i do think this does leave a white cast i have i mean i have dark roots but blonde hair and i definitely have to work it in but there is nothing that compares to batiste so i picked up two of these and i go through these so much i wash my hair like twice a week at most mainly because i hate brushing it <laughs> but yeah sorry god bless you Stanley is sneezing as always because when I film a video Theo eats food and Stanley sneezes but anyway I love this stuff I go through so much of it because I use dry shampoo a lot and this is just my favorite brand and it's super affordable as well I think those are like $7.99 and if I can get it buy one half off I will for sure they sell them at Target as well so that was the first bag so the second bag just has a couple of things like I said I didn't pick up like too much but I wanted to get all the right products so I picked up the Shiseido cotton pads every beauty guru on here says once you try these you will never go back to anything else so I decided it was time for me to pick them up and I think this was like $11 as compared to like the ones you get you know from CVS or Walgreens that are like this big and they're typically like five six dollars so I thought I would give them a try so let's go ahead and open it up and feel one because 
I feel like this should have like rays of light coming out of it because they're like so highly regarded. Okay, they are really soft, like super, super soft. So that's nice. I like that they're not like textured on one side, like the ones that you buy at like CVS and Walgreens are, they're both soft. So get that up close so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, I don't know. I'll let you guys know how I feel about this and if I can't go back to any cotton pad after I use these. So the other two things I picked up were two Anastasia brushes. Ulta was doing a two for 30. Like, I don't know why. It was pretty much all of their brow products and brushes. It was two for 30, which is awesome because I picked up the number 12 brush earlier this year. I used it once and it disappeared. I have no idea where it went. I searched high and low for that thing because this is an $18 brush, which is expensive and I somehow lost it, don't know where it went, but I picked up another one. So like I said, number 12 brush, and I used this today and I used the other brush I got because I wanted to kind of get a feel for it so I could tell you guys. I did know that I liked the liner brush, the number 12. I'm gonna move Stanley. I'm gonna move Stanley because I'm sure you guys are getting annoyed. If you are wondering who the sneezer is, it's this guy. This is my Stanny. I love him so much. I rescued him like four or five, five years ago. I don't know, but he's very sneezy. <laughs> now I have cat hair like everywhere on my face, but it's okay. I feel like I have an animal make an appearance in every video now, but back to this brush. This is the number 12 brush and it is perfect. The angled side of this is so small. It is just the absolute perfect brow brush. I was in search of a small liner brush for years and I never wanted to buy the Anastasia ones because I knew they were really expensive, but it's totally worth it. And I think you will love this brush if you are looking for a tiny liner brush. So the other Anastasia brush I picked up, Stanley's back, just hope he doesn't, Sneeze is the highlighter brush that everyone and their mother uses for highlight. I have always been more of a this brush kind of lady, like a domed brush to highlight, but I gotta say, I used this today to highlight and I really like it. It places the, the highlighter rather a lot nicer than the domed brush. It's probably because it's obviously flatter and it doesn't take up, sorry, I should be showing you guys what I'm talking about. It doesn't take up as large of an area so you can get more precise with it, but this is also worth the hype. And I think this one normally was like close to $20, if not more than $20, maybe 22. So anyway, the deal for these two brushes was really good. So I'm really excited about those. All right, so we're almost done. Like I said, I didn't get that much, but I finally picked up the Maybelline highlighters that every guru on here raves about. I don't know why I hadn't purchased these in the past, but I didn't. So I picked up the Nikki Tutorials collaboration and then the Molten Gold, the one that like everyone talks about. So I used it today. I used both of them and I have to say, I don't see a huge difference between the two of them. I just want to swatch them quickly. I know the Molten Gold one looks gold in the swatch, but when you put it on your face, it really doesn't come off that gold. Okay, there's a huge difference when I swatch them, but I swear when I put them on my face, it didn't seem like a huge difference. So the more white toned one, hopefully you get, yeah, you could see that is the Nikki Tutorials and then the Golder Tone is the Molten Gold. But I will say I do love how it looks on the face. It didn't emphasize my texture, which is really nice. And it's not like one of those like, holy crap girl, you have too much highlight on. Like if you go in and like apply a little too much, I found that like it was really hard to apply too much and it was very smooth and these are, I mean, extremely creamy so I'm really excited to have those in my collection and now I have one for my like less tan days and my more tan days but like I said I went in with the Nikki tutorials one and I have on self tan today and it looks fabulous so again very excited about those I also picked up a new essence super fine eyeliner pen looks hmm. 
that's a different, I guess I picked up a different one than I'm used to, so I'm excited to see how this looks, and it does look a little more fine, so let me grab the one that I usually use. So the smaller one here is the one that I usually have, like, in my collection and pick up, but the one with the longer felt tip is the one that I picked up this time, which I did by accident, so, oh well, I'm excited to see if I can control that. See, the thing is the felt tip is a little too flimsy for me with this, so I'm gonna have to play with this. I love the one that I normally have, the smaller one. I have a lot of control, it's waterproof, especially when I have hooded, when I have hooded eyes, I do have hooded eyes, so it can be difficult because sometimes it will transfer when I'm like from looking down to looking up, it'll transfer, so I really like the waterproof options, and this is $2.99 from Essence, so I don't know, we'll have to play with that, but maybe I find a new find. I will let you guys know in a future tutorial or video. All right, and just one more thing, I picked up the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, looks like this. I've not tried this sponge, and Juicy Jazz here, Jasmine on YouTube, loves this sponge and talks about it all the time, and I think it was $4.99, so I wanted to try it as compared to my Japanese sponge or Japanese, however you say it, because that is my favorite sponge, but Ulta isn't carrying it anymore, so I don't know if Ulta's phasing that out, but no Ulta that I've gone to has Japanese anymore, which is so upsetting because I love that sponge, the Kumadori sponge, let me show you. This guy right here, this is my all-time favorite sponge, I love it so much, so we'll see what the e.l.f. sponge is like. I don't like how it looks, like it has texture to it. I mean, it feels nice and it feels like it's going to get spongy, but it has like a texture to it. So I don't know what that's going to be like, but I will report back after I try this. Hopefully I'll like it because Walgreens and Walmart are holding the Japanese sponge now, so I could always order it there, but I will let you know what I think about those in a future video. So that is it for this one. Let's see. I Somehow I've only picked up like a handful of products and I've been talking for 19 minutes, but hopefully I can edit this down shorter. But that's it for my first haul of 2019. I've talked about this before. I love Ulta. I'm definitely more of an Ulta girl than a Sephora girl just because I like that drugstore option and the high-end option. I find that I'm definitely more of a drugstore girl. So that is it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if I'm missing any products, if there's anything launching soon. I am going to pick up, I think, I need to go online actually and pick up the Casey Physicians Formula, whatever she's launching, Casey Holmes. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you're excited about for 2019. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you're interested in seeing any more videos, please subscribe. It means the world to me and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.